So yeah, I said if I get a good bite, I would hook him, Corey. And I, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> Gotta get him out of there. Hey guys, I'm offshore in about four four foot waves with um, Corey and Dalton. I'll, you'll meet Corey and Dalton soon. They're untangling lines. It's pretty rough out here. We uh, we roughed it. Took us an hour to get out here. I'm gonna freeline some live. Uh, no, this is not live. This is dead. I'm gonna freeline some squid. They're gonna fish on the bottom with some double dropper rig with some squid. We just want to get onto whatever we can get onto. So thanks for joining Freedom Fishing, guys. Guys, this is Corey. I work with Corey. He's out here. We got Dalton out here. We are. Uh, we're all on the bottom. I tried to free line for a minute, but current's way too strong. So we're all got squid straight down. They got double dropper rigs. I've just got a single. See who can catch the first fish, guys. All right, who will bring the first fish in? We're all fishing at the same time. I'm just now dropping down. Yeah, I've only got two or three ounces on and I'm good. There we go. Greg's got the first fish, y'all. Nah, it's not a surprise. <laughs> I hope it's a bait fish. I want I, I, this is bigger than a bait fish though. It's not big. It's not big, but it's oh come, here we go. A little pull. Maybe a grunt, maybe. Alright, y'all. First fish, first drop. You guys watch your lines because. Nice. Oh my gosh. Check this is the biggest sea robin I've ever caught. Check out this sea robin, guys. Check this. God, this thing's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the blue on the, his wingtips. That is. Check that thing out, man. That is cool. That is a. I'm not even sure that it is. I guess it is a sea robin. It's just a bigger one. I've never caught one that big. That's cool. Oh, well, it is bumpy out here, people. Oh. Oh, he's got a. What is that? Is that it's a lizard, giant lizard fish? Big old lizard fish right there, baby. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to get this fish up. This is a fish. Get him off the bottom, Greg. Get him off the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Yes. On that small hook. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, baby. Greg, Greg's got one. I, got, I put that smaller hook on. Oh, my goodness. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. I'm going to have to come your way in a minute, Corey. I got to come to the front of the boat. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just changed to a smaller hook. This is not good. I got to go. Oh, oh, baby. Yes. Oh, God. That's a big fish. I just went to a smaller hook. I hope my hook can hold up to this guy. Mama Mia, yes. Finally a good fish. Got to Oh, he's rubbing on the bottom. I got to I got to lift him up. I got to I can't let him get to the bottom. Yeah, look at that rod bad boy. I think he's taking me to the bottom, I think. I can't I can't lift him. Yeah, he's rubbing me on the bottom. I'm just trying to get him up. I gotta tighten my drag more. This is a big, this yeah, is a very left. big fish. What is that? It broke me off. Look at that. It's a sea turtle. Broke me off. Son of a gun. Damn. <sighs> hey, drop down again. Let's go. Let's drop down. Hey guys, I'm home from fishing. I uh, just wanted to introduce these next few clips real quick. The, the next clip you're about to see, there's nothing video, but if you listen to the background closely, you'll understand why the next clip we're headed back in shore. I'll let you figure that out yourself. Uh, but we head back in shore. But what I wanted to talk about mostly was on the way back in, there's uh, there's the, the one clip where we're just heading in. It's not too bad. But then there's two clips after that. We are in the inlet in St. Augustine, in the jetties. It's a very, very strong outgoing tide. 
and an incoming tide and a very strong northeast wind those are the most dangerous conditions you can be and i actually told corey on the way back in that uh yeah this is the most dangerous conditions you can be in, in a boat but you know everything it'll be fine well we got in there it was it was very very dicey i've never been in conditions like that before i've been boating for several years it was rough uh, there was uh one clip here where uh, if that boat gets sideways you're in trouble you're you're tipping over that that current from inshore is coming out very strong fighting the waves that are coming in from the ocean and I, I gotta tell you i was white knuckling it on my steering wheel for a little bit there so so be very careful always pay attention to that we were not supposed to be coming in at that time so i wasn't worried about it um, but because of what happened in that one clip you're about to see uh, we we had to come in it was uh getting uncomfortable for somebody who was on the boat with us so just wanted to say be careful pay attention to the tides and be very very careful if you're having to come in in the conditions we came in and i took everything i had to keep that boat straight so enjoy the next clip and be safe We went offshore. That was a mistake. It was four foot waves. We, we went 10 miles out. And yeah, one of us got seasick. I won't say who. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> and um, we caught some really big um, sea robins. And I hooked into a really big fish, probably a big grouper. We didn't get him up. But he was too sick, so we came back in. And we. Coming back in the inlet, it was dangerous coming back in. Oh, damn, that's a good bite. That's a good bite. There's some good fish under here. I think the fastest way to get them out of there is just if I just walk forward. That was a good bite I just had. See, I said if I get a good bite, I would hook them, Corey. I, I did, I did, I did. I gotta get him out of there, dude. I gotta get him out of there. I gotta get him out of there. I gotta get him out. I got him out. Yes. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Need a net? Um, probably not yet. But yeah, he's got a little bit of girth to him. All right, y'all. We finally got a decent fish here. Yeah, I mean, underneath that dock. And I got—I was just telling these guys, it's a good sheep. That's a great sheep's head. Yeah, grab the net for me. And I'm gonna—I'm gonna drip. I'm gonna drip. Oh, I'm gonna drip oh, it's drip nice. Oh, it's, no, it's a little black drum. I'm gonna drift him back to you. So. Because of the current, yeah, you're gonna do that. I'm just gonna drift him into the net because the current's so strong. That's a nice little black drum. It's a keeper black drum. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna drift him in. There you go. Bingo, baby. All right. Black uh, drum. Nice fish. Yes. Told you I get a good bite, Corey. I'm like, that's a perfect fish, dude. Look at that, dude. Perfect little black drum. Perfect eater size, too. Here, hold on, let me. Here, take a picture of him. I don't ever get pictures of me with fish. Because I'm, well, I actually do. I go stand in the front. All right, we're keeping this fish, right, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going to keep some fish. You guys are going to keep some fish. So we'll just, we'll divvy up at the end of the day. All right, guys, we have a 15 and a half inch black drum, which is a keeper. So this guy is going in the box. Oh, there he is. There he is. I just called him. Swimming right at me. So, it's a smaller black drum. Oh, Corey's on. Yep, Corey's on and Greg's on at the same time. Is it? Oh, look at two baby. What is that? It's a black drum. It's a black drum. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Lift it up. All right, we doubled up. <laughs> we have twin brothers right here. Two little black drum. Uh, they're neither one big enough to keep, but that's fun to catch. Good job, Corey. I, like I said before, when I catch one black drum here, I usually catch a bunch of them. They're usually together. I like that. Yours is prettier. Yours wins the beauty contest because it's darker stripes. <laughs> All right, a couple more black drum here. See you, dude. 
I've never said this before, but I tip uh, the Freedom guys 20 bucks every time I go out. Oh, you guys are awesome. And when I bring people, Thank I ask you, them to bring it too. So. Appreciate you, man. Thank yeah, you. man. I got you. It goes a long way, man. Mike and his guys do a great job. Thank you, man. Okay, we're out of here. Have See you, Mike. Guys. Take care. So you guys tip what you want to, but uh, I think it's worth If you can afford a boat club, you can afford 20 bucks a tip. That's what I think, anyway. Thank you, guys. We're going to cook some fish. Now my wife's laughing at me because this is like take three. Okay, we are going to do some uh, black drum on the blackstone, which I'm excited about. We just bought the blackstone and we've cooked a lot of meals on it. So we just got some egg batter here, some um, panko breadcrumbs, some butter, some uh, pepper lemon. This pepper lemon seasoning I bought uh, last, this week at the, the Pepper Palace down on St. Augustine. Excited to use that. We've got some lettuce and tomato for the sandwiches we're gonna make, salt, pepper, some lime juice because we are out of lemons. And then I've got the bread with the toaster. We're gonna to toast it. So first I wanna do a little bit of seasoning on the fish. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We're gonna be really, really simple here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this new seasoning I have. So a little salt and pepper. And this is that black drum. I cut the uh, bloodline out. So it's not a whole lot. I've already got, I've already did a couple pieces right there. Okay, and there's my lemon pepper sauce. And then I'll put it in the egg batter there, and then put it in the panko breadcrumbs. And uh, get it breaded up real good. Really simple, salt, pepper, lime juice, the, uh, the new seasoning we got, the new pepper lemon seasoning we got. I'm gonna put a little more, a little more lime juice on here on this side here. Okay, and I'm gonna go uh, cook these on the black so when we come back, we're just gonna put our, uh, gonna get some mayonnaise and make some uh, toasted bread with our lettuce tomato mayonnaise on some breaded toaster bread. So let's go cook this on the Blackstone. This is the Blackstone we bought. Got a tight quarters, by the way, there's my hot tub. I, when I come home from the from fishing, I always get in the hot tub first when I get home, crack my back. But this is our little portable Blackstone we bought. It's a, it's a tabletop, doesn't have legs. The lid comes off of it, as you see there. And there it is, you got the little uh, propane tank there and it's really easy to light up. Boom, lit. And then here, lit up. You can see in there, I got the flame going. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter on here. It's gonna be really, really simple. All right, let's put some fish on here. I've never done this before, so this is a first for me. But I figured it can't be that hard. Okay, here we go. Let's squirt a little lemon juice on there, give a little bit of test. 
Let's sizzle. There we go. I think it's probably about two minutes, maybe three minutes on each side. Cut it on medium. Smells really good. Here, give me some of the smell. All right, there we go. Ready to put on the sandwich. All right, I toasted a couple pieces of bread here, put a little bit of butter on them, put a little mayonnaise. Let's see how this came out. I have never made a fish sandwich at home. I do like fish sandwiches and I eat them. If I go out, I will sometimes have a fish sandwich. I have never made a fish sandwich at home before. So this is the first. Whoops, I need this. Our lettuce. A piece of tomato. Mm-hmm. We are right there, our black drum sandwich. All right, guys, here we are. Let me go to the first bite. Black drum, pepper, lemon, season, lime, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, panko breadcrumbs on the black stone. Mmm. It's so good on my choke today. <clears throat> Cooked really nice. See that fish in there? Cooked really well. Mm. Really good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Freedom Fishing. Go get a black stone. This thing is delicious. God bless. Have a good night.